Information technology relies on the division of labor, with photons carrying data and electrons processing it. However, some researchers are working on using photons to both carry and process data, which could lead to more efficient optical computing. This would involve replacing the current architecture of digital electronic processing with equivalent optical components or using a novel optical architecture that uses analog computing, which encodes data as a continuous signal rather than discrete bits. This approach is currently most suitable for solving problems in linear algebra, which has applications in artificial neural networks and machine learning. Using photons for computing reduces power consumption because the passage of photons through transparent media is resistance-free, unlike electrical resistance which generates heat and wastes energy. Linear algebra is a branch of math that involves manipulating matrices, which are grids of numbers used to represent coefficients in simultaneous equations. Matrices can be used to describe the behavior of electromagnetic radiation, such as light. Artificial neural networks are programs that use matrix calculations to process data and recognize patterns. They are made up of layers of nodes, with the connections between them representing numbers and matrices. These values change in response to incoming signals, which allows the network to learn about patterns in the input data. The process data is then passed on to the next layer for further processing until it reaches the final output layer which combines the data to produce an answer. The concept of using optical neural networks, which use light to process data instead of electricity, dates back to the 1990s. However, it is only recently that the technology has advanced enough to make it commercially viable. Dimitri Saltis, an electrical engineer at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne, was among the first to use optical neural networks for face recognition. In the past, neural networks were relatively shallow, with just one or two layers and a few thousand nodes. However, modern deep learning networks can have more than 100 layers and billions of nodes. Investments by the telecom industry in optical technology have made it possible to create and control more complex optical systems. There are both technological and financial incentives for developing optical neural networks. These networks use light to process data instead of electricity, which can reduce the cost of the large amounts of electricity consumed by modern networks as they handle increasing amounts of data. Most efforts to build optical neural networks have not entirely abandoned electronics, instead. Using a hybrid approach that combines the benefits of optics and electronics. For example, Companies like Light Matter and Lightelligence in Boston are developing hybrid modulators that multiply matrices together using both an optically encoded signal and numbers fed back electronically. These modulators are made of silicon, which is not the optimal material for light modulation but is well developed for electronics and allows hybrid chips to be made using equipment designed for conventional ones. The performance of electronics has been increasing for decades, but the potential for scaling up optics is just beginning. Ryan Hammerly and his team at the MIT are working on using hybrid optical devices with low power consumption for various applications, including smart speakers, drones, and self-driving cars. Smart speakers currently send a digitized version of what they have heard over the internet to a remote server for processing, which can be time-consuming and insecure. An optical chip installed in a smart speaker could perform the necessary linear algebra locally, with low power consumption and without the need to transmit potentially sensitive information elsewhere. Some researchers believe that the true benefit of optical computing is its ability to handle large data sets more efficiently. For example, image recognition systems currently use low-resolution images because high-resolution ones are too large to process efficiently. Ugur Tijin at Caltech is working on an all-optical machine that would bypass the need for electronics, but this has proven difficult because neural networks need nonlinear functions in addition to linear processing to be able to learn a wide range of patterns. However, Dr. Tijin has found that when an intense pulse of light is shown through a multimode fiber, it can alter the behavior of light in a nonlinear manner, 
which may allow for nonlinear patterns to be learned. Dr. Tijin has developed an all-optical network that keeps information in an optical form until it reaches the final output layer, where it is converted into electronic form for processing by a smaller electronic network. Idagon Oscan at the University of California, Los Angeles is taking a different approach to all-optical matrix processing, using thin sheets of specially fabricated glass in stacks similar to the layers of an artificial neural network. These sheets diffract incoming light in a way that processes digital images, and the optics work passively like a camera lens rather than receiving active feedback. This provides security benefits because the system never captures or sends raw data, but the sheets cannot be reconfigured and must be replaced if the inference algorithm changes.